We, so how this is going to work is that uh, the first person in the line is going to pick a category. Um, we're going to read them the question. The, the queens are going to answer the question uh, by writing on their whiteboard and not show anybody the answer yet. Um, and then the first person is going to dis to I pick their answer. Okay. They can either pick their answer, or if they're not sure, they can pick one of the four randoms and oh, yeah, and pick know. their answer. <laughs> but you have to stay with that answer. Um, if they get it wrong, they're out. Three inches does match. Oh, they, win. <laughs> they don't. They will there is a mystery again. prize. There's also consolations. Not for you guys. Yeah, no, you don't get prizes. <laughs> Um, and to the four queens, we're also going to keep track of which ones you guys get wrong, so we can determine who is the dumbest out of all of you. Oh. It's going to be Trey. Um, <laughs> you kidding? Oh. Yes, Maleficent. Uh, <laughs> um, so shall we get started? Yes. All right. Let's start with the the first queen. Hello, ma'am. What is your name? Morgan Fair. Hi, Morgan Fair. <laughs> Out of our six categories, English, History, Math, Science, Drag, and Music, which one would you like to pick, Madame Jose? English? That's funny. Oh, funny. Uh, By the way, so uh, when we were making these questions last night in the middle of the night, um, we had to look up like 95% of these answers. <laughs> yeah. We did not know. So don't don't trust anything you say here. Oh great. This is a great question. I didn't even know. Yes. Alright, so first question. Shakespeare died on which of these important days? A Christmas. B Valentine's Day. C his birthday. Or D Independence Day. So Miss Morgan Fair, do you wanna answer or do you wanna um, trust one of these bitches? Uh, I'll answer. <laughs> okay, what is your answer? His birthday. And you're right! Yay! Get to the back of the line. No, don't. <laughs> okay, Queens, let's see your answers. I got birthday, birthday, Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day. So China and Hellacious lost that one. You're smart, huh? It's a Saskatchewan thing. <laughs> it didn't work. No cheating! Are you keeping the score over there? Okay, sweet. Okay, next person. Hello, what is your name, beautiful woman? My name is Lady Tenderflake. Hello, Lady Tenderflake. Out of our six categories, which one do you want? Science. Ooh. Yo, are you sure? <laughs> okay. By the way, there's only five questions per category because we got way too tired. I, I want to read, read one. Read it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're back. Perfect. How many bones in an adult human body? I know this one. <laughs> Are you sure? She yeah. already wrote that shit down. Oh my god. Read up the answers. Anatomy, hair school. A, 206. B, 270. C, 1,492. D, 69. Uh -oh. Tenderflake. Tenderflake, would you like to answer or have the bitches answer? I would like to hear the first two answers again. A. 206, B, 270. I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna say A. And you got it right! Yay. God damn it! Queen's supposed to be stupid. A, 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 A. I see you changed your answer from C. <laughs> Look at Trey loses a point. What an error! <laughs> Do that! <laughs> I could have confessed. This is the only best you truly knew. Okay, so. <laughs> Hellacious also lost that. <laughs> my game, my rules. Anyways, next, next person. Hello, young lady. What is your name? Bambi Dextrous. Hello, Bambi Dextrous. Not gonna lie, Bambi Dextrous. You were the first person I thought of putting as a queen on this game. Yeah, right. <laughs> of our six categories, English history, math, science, drag, and music, which one would you like to pick? Drag. Oh, oh, come on, Drake. Is this is the one that I can't read. I know nothing about Drake. Can I? <laughs> we know. <laughs> it's obvious. I really hope that one of the queens gets this wrong. What is RuPaul's last name? A. Charles. B. Bonita Brown. <laughs> C. Franklin. And D. Jones. Hi, Bambi. Do you want to answer? I'd like to answer. Okay. A. Charles. You are correct. And you got it right. Yes, queen. Oh god, you guys need to stop being smart. Yeah, they were all the queens are all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that 
is it going to change? Hello, young lady. I mean, a young gentleman. What is your name? Dobbin. Hi, Dobbin. Um, of our six categories, which would you like to choose? Music. Music. Okay. Good. Oh, I want to read one of these. Yes, this was your question, so you can. You yes, can. Italian words. <clears throat> oh, perfect. What is the highest vocal range in choir? A. Conductor. B. Baritone. C. Contralto. And D. Soprano. Well, hello, Dobbin. Would you like to answer, or would you like one of the bitches? Bitches. Ooh. Which bitch? China. Oh, China. China, let's see what your answer is. Soprano. And you're safe. Yes, you are correct. Oh my god, we're getting nowhere. Uh, so, Trey said to Vina's voice. <laughs> I was gonna say that. To Vina's voice was gonna be one of the options. Everybody else got it right. Yay. Yay. Hello, young gentleman. What is your name? Chad. Hi, Chad. Can I pick Chad's category? Sure. Yes, let's pick Chad's category. Where do we go with math? <laughs> Knock them bitches out. What grade? Um, <laughs> this is fifth grade, I think. All right. Which of the following numbers is prime? A, 12. B, 6. C, 9. Or D, 7. Would you like to answer? Or one of the okay. Seven. And you're yeah, right. That's the right answer. Yeah. Queens. Seven, seven, Strap seven. Strap in, people. These Often bitches are smart. You put nine, so Trey loses that one as well. He even said it out loud. Our and God. you spelled it wrong? Hello, Here's Morgan Fair. Which category would you like to pick from? No, we're not fucking done. <laughs> we gotta knock these bitches out. Fuck it. Why did we make these so easy? The sun provides us with what type of energy? A, kinetic, B, heat, C, caffeine, or D, all of the above? <laughs> Who wrote this question? Oh, okay. Hi, Morgan, would you like to answer or Queens? B, heat? And you're, oh, you are right. Oh, God damn it. Oh, no, don't, don't change your answer. I didn't. Easy, e. e. Trey. E Try. for energy. Uh, e for Palacious e. wrote A and heat, which is okay. half right. Give her a half point. Good girl. Everybody else is fine. Hello, Next person. Mrs. Tenderflake. I have to change. Who's my name? No one. No one. <laughs> no. Which category would you like? Math. Oh my god. I hate you. Make the bitches work. <laughs> Ooh, this is fun. Yeah, right. We have to actually look this answer up because we struggle. Um, in the acronym BEDMAS, what does the letter E, does the letter e stand for? A, elementary. B, exponent. C, equate. Or D, explain. We made this way too easy. Would you like to go with a queen or your answer? Do it, please. Come on. I've wanted to do you for a long time. Oh, oh my God. What is that? I'll even show it as a reminder. Yeah. Uh, I'll pick the, the volunteering queen. Which one? Hi. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Oh, you are. You are in for a treat. Yes? Oh, my God. He actually answered the right question. Fuck me! <laughs> no. Okay, back of the line. Sorry, we thought this was going to go much faster. Yeah. Hello, family dextrous. What category? Music. Music. Uh, can you? Because I, I have, I have um, excuses. <laughs> More Italian words. Love it. What is the Italian slash musical term for moderately loud? A. Divina die for. B. Silenzioso. C. Mezzo forte, or D, Bucatini. <laughs> Would you like the Queens or yourself? The Queens. Yeah. Which one? Please <laughs> pick Roxy. Trey Lepard trash. <laughs> what was your answer? C, and I hate you. Why are you being smart all of a sudden? Fuck you, it was Mezzo forte. What so the rest of you? Did you all put C? C. Oh, okay. C uh, or A for Tavina Die for. Let's all, all right. I am getting through. Somebody pick history. Let's play they history. They all cheated off the same person. History. 
History? Okay. Oh, here Sweet. We go. Right? <laughs> you're going to you're gonna trust one of them. So right off the bat, we're going to trust Hellacious with this answer. All right. Um, Hellacious, who was the first governor, gen governor general of Canada? A, RuPaul. B, Julie Payette. C, Tim Horton. Or D, Vincent Massey. <laughs> God damn. God damn it! We made that one easy too. Julie Payette's the current governor. How, How do you know that? that? Because we really didn't know that. Also, Tim Horton. Hello. Look what category? Uh, I'll go with Tim Horton. The English. English. <laughs> Which of these is an adjective? A. The. B. Balls. <laughs> C. India. Or D. Stunning. <laughs> is it D? Oh my God. Go away, Chad. Okay, Morgan. No, go away. <laughs> go to the back of the line. Morgan. Category. What's my middle name? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Which category? Uh, let's go history. <laughs> history. Oh, it's Mackenzie. What are the three branches of Parliament? A, the Sovereign. B, the Senate. C, the House of Commons. Or D, all the above. That was supposed to be a trick question. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> What's wrong with the school system in this province? <laughs> What's your answer? <laughs> Go away. <it>. You're wrong. <laughs> no, it was deep. Yes, come on, hard trivia. Here comes the hard trivia. Hi, you don't get a choice. Hello. Sing the lyrics to Call Me Mother by <laughs> Okay, what is the most common element in the Earth's atmosphere? A, oxygen, B, nitrogen, C, carbon dioxide, or D, argon? Drag queens, or you? I'm gonna try it. <laughs> what was the answer? A, oxygen, B, nitrogen, C, carbon dioxide, or argon? I think I want A, B, C, 4. <laughs> Whatever. Math is hard. B, Do nitrogen. Questions were is it B, nitrogen? Correct. This was supposed to be the hard ones. <laughs> I see y'all later. Oh. No, not everyone knows that. Okay. Who copied answers? You didn't even write anything. Right here. That's all you can see because my marker doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What were the earliest forms of contraceptive made from? A. Crocodile dung. B. Goat bladders. C. Leather. B, so if you can die for No. So are you going to answer or Queens? I will answer. Okay, what is it? B. You're wrong. You're wrong. Uh, uh, it was crocodile dung. Sorry about your luck. Uh, <laughs> Bambi, we'll come around with a consolation prize for you. Mm. Oh, it is hot. I don't even know how to say this word, so this is going to be fun. Oh, yay. What are people with Electrophobia afraid of? A. Pugs. B. Beards. C. Chickens. D. Wizards. Are you going to answer or Queens? Correct. What? Oh my god! Stop being smart! And it's a surprisingly common phobia, can also include dead chickens and eggs. Ew. Ew. What's the correct term for a group of hippopotamuses? A convocation, a bloat, a shoal, Davina. Chad's gonna trust someone else. Actually, it's a bloat of hippos. Oh, oh, oh is Chad It's ever? also okay to call them a pod or even a school, but not a stroll. Thank you, Hellacious. I'm so Thanks for being dumb. <laughs> How has the Statue of Liberty changed since it was built? It changed position. It changed color. It's no longer holding a trident. Or D, Davina die for. Are you gonna? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna okay. Go, I'm gonna go with A, position. It changed color. Lady Liberty is made from copper. She was a traditional burnished red orange at first, but the copper reacted with air and moisture and developed a pale green outer layer called a patina. No. All right. Why is it hotter in summer than it is in winter? 
because the Earth is closer to the sun in summer, because of the tilt of the Earth's axis, because the Earth has an elliptical orbit. Or E to be the diamond. Are you guessing? Yep. What does outer space smell like? Burnt steak and hot metal? Nothing? Farts? Or... I, I'm pretty sure that was C. Uh, Rexy, hey. Rexy, you're in charge of the the fate of David. A burnt steak and hot metal. Nothing. Farts. Oh, burnt steak. <laughs> hey, I. Hey, at least I can vouch that I didn't make these up. So. Ah, ah, ah. Burnt steak or hot metal. Uh, Is that burnt steak and hot metal? Nothing. Farts. farts. <laughs> and since Davina's already an answer, Harvey. What is that? B, nothing. Okay, I was like, penis wasn't an answer. According to this, it smells like burnt steak and hot metal. Yeah, I just read this the other day. Actually. Astronauts returning from a spacewalk have reported smells of seared steak or hot metal. Yay, I think you're applauding that this is done. Thank you, I appreciate it. You are out, you lose. Tender plays are winner, yay! You're welcome for a harder question. Yes. Thank you, Stiffy. Um, so obviously the answer of the dumbest drag queen is obviously me and Davina. Yes! We are the dumbest! We will have your prize in a minute.